Good morning and welcome to St. Francis Community of Faith for All People, an inclusive Catholic community. We welcome everyone to join us in the Word and we always welcome everyone to join us in the Eucharist. If you are on Facebook or you are following us on Zoom, we just ask that at the time of the Eucharist, if you'd like, you could get some bread, wine, or grape juice. And as I bless the bread and wine that is here, I bless blessing everyone's bread and wine. So we ask that you um, <clears throat> have that and feel free to receive the Eucharist. We also do a general absolution so that if folks feel that they need to be absolved of any wrongdoings towards the Lord or self, community or their loved ones, after the Gloria, there's a general absolution. So with that, I'd like us to begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one. And also with you. Before we begin the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind the times that we've not been as faithful to the Lord as we should. For the times, Lord, that we have failed to listen to your word within our hearts, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. For the times, Lord, that we have failed to see your presence in other people, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. For the times, Lord, that we have failed to spend time with you in prayer, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. 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 Glory to God in the highest, in the highest. And, peace and peace to God's, to God's people, people on, earth. on earth. Lord God, Lord God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, Almighty God, God and Father, Father, we worship you. Worship you. We, we give, give you thanks. thanks. We praise you. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only, the only child, child of the Father. Father. Lord God, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God. God. You take away, take the, away sin the sin of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. You are seated, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Receive, Receive our, prayer. our prayer. For you alone, you alone are the Holy One. You, you alone, alone are, are the Lord. Most, you alone are the Most, are the most High, high Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ with, the, with Holy the Holy Spirit and the, the glory of God the Father. Of Father. Amen. Amen. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of our sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God give us pardon and peace, and I absolve us of all our sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Wise and gracious God, you spread a table before us and nourish your people with the word of life and the bread from heaven. In our sharing of these holy gifts, show us our unity in you and give us a taste of the life to come. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 The first reading is, is from, the, from the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the princes said to the king, Jeremiah ought to be put to death. He is demoralizing the soldiers who are left in this city and all the people by speaking such things to them. He is not interested in the welfare of our people, but in their ruin. King Zedekiah answered, he is in your power, for the king could do nothing with them. 
And so they took Jeremiah and threw him into the citern of Prince Malachi, which was in the quarters of the, of the guard, letting him down the ropes. There was no water in the cistern, only mud, and Jeremiah sank into the mud. Ebed Melech, 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 a court office official, went there from the palace and said to him, my Lord King, these men have been at fault in all they have done to the prophet Jeremiah, casting him into the cistern. He will die of famine on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered Ebed Melech, the Cushite, to take three men along with him and draw the prophet Jeremiah out of the cistern before he should die. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to uh, God. The responsorial psalm is, response is, Lord, come to my aid. Lord, come, come to, my, to aid. my aid. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me. Lord, Lord come, come to my aid. aid. The Lord heard my cry. He drew me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp. He set my feet upon crag. He made firm my steps. Lord, Lord come, come to aid. my aid. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and trust in the Lord. Lord, Lord come, come to aid. my aid. Though I am afflicted and poor, yet the Lord thinks of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh, my God, hold not back. Lord, Lord come to aid. my aid. The second reading is from Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and the perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks be God. to God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish you were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. Now from, on, now from now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter and a daughter against her mother. -in -law. My friends, the good news, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to Christ. you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
we don't often expect such harsh language from Jesus. But I think if we understand where he's coming from and the call of universal love that he was offering to people in word and in gesture through his healings, we can truly understand what that gospel is saying. Jesus, like Jeremiah, was rejected for the word that they came to give to people. Throughout the whole Old Testament, we could sum it up by saying God's fidelity to the people and the people's infidelity to God. And that gets played out in all different ways. How people reject God, the molten calf, the rejection of the prophets, the rejection of Moses, the Ten Commandments, and all of that. Yet God stays faithful to God's people. God cannot deny who God is. God is part of creation, all creation, you and I. And so with that notion in mind, we see the struggle of human nature. God has given us free will, free will to love or not to love. If we don't love as Jesus has taught us to love, as the spirit within us calls us to love, to love all people as they are, we kind of go against who we are. And that's where we experience pain and suffering. We experience anxiety, we experience depression, we experience our addictions because we're trying to fill that void in us, which can only be filled when we love and give of our lives to with objects, people, places, and things to fill that void so we feel better about ourselves. One of the black box warnings, if you will, of Jesus is exactly this gospel. He says, I have come as a fire. Now in Jesus' time, the fire he's talking about is the ovens that were used by the community in the neighborhoods to cook their meals. That fire was fueled by salt, which was a catalyst, and dung patties, you will, thrown into the fire so that it would keep going. So Jesus is saying, I'm a catalyst. I'm a catalyst like fire. And to keep that fire going, that fire transforms, that fire changes, the fire also warms us and makes us feel cozy. But the message of Jesus, not that he wants to come and destroy the world. No, Jesus wants to bring the world together. And so Jesus is saying the fire that he's coming to ignite, putting the world ablaze, is a fire that is going to divide we know in our own society right now, how many families have been divided by political and religious doctrine, father against wife, mother against child, people all divided based on their political views and sometimes their church views. We have this whole big controversy happening. We just went through it for the last two years. We have the call of Black Lives Matter, the Me Too movement, the poor LGBTQTI community struggling to maintain their rights, women losing their rights. These are all the things in our day and age that are causing division. And where are we as Christians in all of this? As Christians, it doesn't matter what political party we belong to. But what, what, what does matter is universal love. If we are going to either vote or speak out, it must be based on the gospel. We have to remember Jesus never rejected anybody. Jesus accepted everyone. Jesus never told people, you have to change who you love. You have to change who you feel you are. Jesus said, come follow me. Come experience the love of God. 
Because as you and I both know, and many other Christians, once Jesus has touched our lives, we change. We choose not to do certain things anymore. We choose to give our lives to others. The cross is what St. Paul says in that letter to the Hebrews. That's really the outcome of the message of Christ. If we preach and live the gospel, we will experience suffering. But as a faith community, we don't have to suffer alone. We have one another to support each other. So no matter what we are going through, our prayers as a community, our support as a community, is always there for each other. And we will be discriminated against because sometimes our families, our friends, sometimes even our own church doesn't want to hear the message that God is telling you and I to preach, you and I to be. It's a very, very important message in this troubled world of ours. Universal love. Everyone is a creation of the divine. No one should be left behind. No one should be discriminated against. No one should be alienated. All are welcome in the kingdom of God. No matter who they are, no matter who they choose to marry, no matter who they choose to be, God has created all of us. And we do not have the right to alienate or reject anyone. Praise be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. At this Amen. time, if anyone would like to share how God has worked in their life, if you have any thoughts on the gospel, anything that's happening in your life, please feel free to share it. Let us now profess our faith. We believe, we believe in one God, the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, <laughs> maker of heaven and earth, of, of all that is seen, seen and unseen. unseen. We, we believe, believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the only Son, Son of, God, of God, eternally begotten of the, of the Father. Father. God, God, God from God. God. Light, 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 true, true God, 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 true true God, God, God begotten, begotten not made, made, one in being, one in with, being the with the Father. Through him, through him, him all things, things were made. For all people, our, our salvation. salvation. He came, he came down, down, down from God. heaven. And by the, by the power, power, power of the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit. <clears throat> he was born as the Virgin Mary, Virgin Mary, and one like, like us. For our sake, he was crucified, Pontius Pilate, he suffered, suffered, died, and was buried. Was buried. On the third day, third day he rose, rose again, again in fulfillment, the fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
with, with the, the Father, Father and the Son, son he's worshipped and glorified. glorified. He, he has spoken to the prophets. To the prophets. We believe in one, one holy, one holy Catholic, 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 Catholic Church. Church. We acknowledge one baptism, one baptism for, the for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins. We look for the, the resurrection of the dead, dead and, and the life, life, life of our world to come. Amen. Amen. The response to the prayers of the people will be, Lord, use us as an instrument of your love. For all faith communities that we may be transformed by the fire of the Holy of the Spirit into a dynamic community of faith and give witness to the divine's abiding presence and action in the world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord use us us as an instrument of your love. love. For this community of faith that the spirit will raise a sense of urgency within us to share Jesus's love with all who have no direction in life, we pray to the Lord, 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 use us as as your instrument of love. For renewed inspiration that as we recall the witness and example of the women and men who have gone before us, we may be inspired to offer witness in our society to the Paschal mystery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, use us as an instrument of love. For all who speak the truth to power, that they faithfully witness to the truth without succumbing to pride, self-centeredness, being judgmental or religious or political pressure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord us as an instrument of your love. For all who are suffering for, disi- for their discipleship, that the Spirit give them strength, console them when they are rejected, and help them to respond with love and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord use us as, as instruments of your love. love. For families which are divided or in conflict, that the Lord will help them hear and understand one another and find ways to support each other's life on life's journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord use us, us as, as instruments, instruments of your love. For all teachers and administrators as they prepare for the coming school year, that the spirit will give them wisdom, patience, and understanding for each of the students with whom they work with will work with this year we pray to the lord lord use us as as instruments instruments of your love for young people who are heading off to college particularly those going away for the first time that the divine will guide them as as they adapt to being on their own and help them to make wise decisions and many new friends we pray to the lord Lord, Lord, use us us as as instruments of your love. love. For all recovering from storms or floods, that God will comfort (coughs) them in their loss, give them strength, and open their hearts of many to be generous to them and end global warming, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 use us us as instruments of your love. For all who are on our prayer list and for those whose memory of transition we recall this month, that the divine will grant them and those suffering peace, suffering peace and strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord use, us use us as instruments, as instruments of your love. love. And for what else shall we pray? I'd like to pray for my friend Carmen's um, father, who's going for some tests this week, um, and he's been diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, that she has the strength, as well as he does, and her family, to help support him through this particular uh, health concern. For this we pray. Lord, Lord use, use us as in, as in instruments of your, instruments love. Of your love. like to pray for 
Frank, Susie's grandmother, Mary, and his cousin, Kimberly. Also for Reverend Lorraine, whose dog passed away this week, who's been a faithful companion to her for many, many years. Also like to pray for the two people who are discerning, one who's discerning joining us and CDOS, and the other person who's discerning a vocation to the priesthood with us, that the Lord will strengthen all of these folks in healing and in wisdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord use us as instruments. Lord God, we offer you our prayers and petitions, those both spoken and unspoken in our minds and hearts hearts. Continue to cure us and give us the strength that we need on our daily journey. We ask you this, O oh Lord, in the Spirit's name, Spirit of peace, love, and of joy. Amen. Amen. At this time, if you'd like to get some bread and wine or grape juice, we will be preparing for our Eucharistic celebration. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter in to the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When I was weary, you helped me find rest. When I was anxious, you Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine and this bread to offer. Work of human hands, may they become for us our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving and almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name for our good and the good of all God's church. Lord God, in this wonderful exchange of gifts, accept the offerings you have given us that we in turn may receive the gift of yourself. We make our prayer through Christ the Lord. My friends, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us lift up our hearts. 
We lift them up to up the to Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right to give, it's right right to give them thanks and, praise. thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O divine and almighty and eternal God. All things are of your making. All times and seasons obey your law, but you fashion the human family in your own image and set us over the world in all its wonder, that we may be stewards of your creation, praising you day by day for the marvels of your might and wisdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we sing the joyful hymn of your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God, God, our, our might, God. Heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the highest. O Lord most holy, we proclaim your greatness, and all your works show forth your wisdom and your love. You formed man and woman in your own likeness and entrusted the whole world to their care, so that in serving you alone, our creator, we might be stewards of all creation. Even when we disobeyed you and turned from your friendship, you did not abandon us to the power of death, but extended your hand in mercy that all who search for you might find you. Again and again, you offered the human race a covenant and through the prophets nurtured the hope of salvation. Lord God, you so loved the world that in the fullness of time, you sent your only son to be our savior made flesh by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he lived as one like us in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, and to those in sorrow, joy. In order to fulfill your purpose, he gave himself up to death, and by rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life and that we might no longer live for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, O Lord, as his first gift to those who believe, to complete his work on earth and renew the world in perfect holiness. Lord God, may that same Holy Spirit may sanctify these gifts let them become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we may celebrate the great mystery which he has left us as an everlasting covenant. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, most holy God, having loved those his own in the, who were in the world, he loved them to the end. While they were at supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his friends and said, take this, all of it, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In the same way, he took the cup filled with wine. He gave you thanks, and giving the cup to his disciples, he said, take this, yes. all of you, Love and drink it. This, this is, is the cup of my blood, my blood. The, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will, will be shed, shed for you, you and, and for all people, people, so that sins may be forgiven. Okay. Do this in memory <laughs> of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ, Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. 
Christ, Christ will, will come God. again. And so, Lord God, we celebrate the memorial of our redemption. We recall Christ's death and his descent among the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And looking forward to his coming in glory, we offer you the sacrifice of his body and blood, an offering acceptable to you, which brings salvation to all the world. Lord, look upon the sacrifice which you yourself have prepared for your people, your faith communities, and by your Holy Spirit, gather all who share this one bread and one cup into the one body, a living sacrifice in Christ, to the praise and glory of your name. Lord, remember those for whom we make this sacrifice, for all your leaders of the church, churches and faith communities, for those who are ordained and the non-ordained and all your people, those who take part in this offering, those here present this morning, and all your people throughout the world who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Merciful Lord, grant that we, your children, may enjoy the inheritance of heaven with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and all your saints, there together with all creation, set free from the corruption of selfishness and death, we shall sing your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bless the world with all that is good. For it is through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all of our prayers into one, let us pray the prayer which Jesus has to us. Our oh, Father. Our Father. Art in heaven. heaven. Hallowed, Hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, will, thy will be done, be done. On, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day, day our daily bread, daily bread. And, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses. As, as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. us. And lead us, lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all unnecessary worry, anxiety, and depression, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours, are yours. Now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your people gathered here this morning. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each and every one of you. And also, and also with, you. with you. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, peace, peace be with you, everybody. Peace, peace, everybody. Be peace everybody. everybody. God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have, Have mercy, on mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away, away the sin, sin of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away, away the, the sin of the world. Of the world. Grant us, Grant us your peace. My friends, let us behold the Lamb of God. Let us behold Jesus, whose words sometimes divide our families, our friends, and even ourselves, but whose sacrament can unite us in that universal love of healing and forgiveness. How happy and blessed are we who are called to receive him. Lord, Lord. I am not worthy to receive you, 
But the only say the word, word and, and I, I shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to light the last. Amen. 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 My friends, let us pray. God of mercy, through this Holy Eucharist, you make us one body in Christ. Fashion us in his likeness here on earth, that we may be ready to share his company in heaven, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Before our final blessing, I would just like to mention a few things um, that we have going on. First, I want to thank everyone who has donated to our school supply drive. It was fantastic again. So I want to thank <clears throat> you. We raised over $500 on Facebook. Many people sent supplies to my home and um, we're actually going to pick up supplies, donations uh, today from uh, a local place that Jan and I are going to go to and purchase $500 plus a company who has adopted us for all of our charitable works. Tristan will be going there on Thursday and picking up their donations. So we have given these poor children here on Long Island enough supplies to last them, I hope, throughout the school year. These are the same children and probably more because these are just school-age children and adolescents but even their brothers and sisters who are younger, these are the same children that we collect uh, new toys for at Christmas so that these, these um, children will have some gifts for them. Uh, the other items I'd like to just remind everybody next week, Reverend Kathleen uh, has our Eucharistic celebration on Saturday evening at 5 p.m. Uh, it will just be on Zoom, it's not a live mass. And then on August 27th, we will have, which is a Sunday morning again, I'll be celebrating the mass. Um, it will be both live and on Zoom. If you would like to be part of our email and 
be considered an active member of our community, please visit our website, www.cfapli.net and fill out any of the forms on the bottom of the pages and just let me know and I'll add you to our email <laughs> list so when we send the readings out or any special announcements in addition to the special page for announcements and things on the website, you'll have firsthand knowledge. Um, also, finally, uh, we do have a Franciscan community called the Franciscan Communities of Community of Light. Uh, Reverend John Trevina, who is going to be leading that community, is writing a rule of life. Um, it's a real simple rule of life following the way of France, uh, Francis, St. Francis, our patron. If you or anyone you know would like to join our religious order, please let us know. There's a page um, where how you could reach out to us on our website as well. My friends, the Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My friends, this Mass is ended. Let us go now, strengthened by the word of the Lord and by the Eucharist, to love and to serve the Lord by loving and serving all people. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks to God. God. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next week, Saturday evening at 5 p.m. We also have Compline on Thursday evening at 8 p.m. if you'd like to join us for that. God bless. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone. Stay on, Ken. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.